Okay, so we're back up to speed on where we were before. We had a lot less encounters, but we're, we're basically at the same stage again. So I need a few minutes to get my stuff back. This time I managed to sell both of the... I got rid of the other Thornlet as well, so I don't have to deal with that crap again. Yeah, okay. Flame rings all round this time, so we should hopefully be in a better place. Uh, we need to change this as well. Honestly, against this guy, maybe I'm just better off having the same tactic for everybody. But obviously, we don't have like rapid fire and shit for these guys. But is there anything I can use? Yeah, I'll go with white and blue this time. It seems like ribbon doesn't really help against um, confuse, so I don't really know how much point there is to that. Okay, this time I'm going to put a save state in. Save some time on those repeat attempts if they're necessary. Let's go. I mean, at this stage, first of all, I need to even figure out what the route out of here is. Obviously, we've got random encounters before that as well. I haven't fought anything in here, so I'm back down to level 49 now. Okay. It's kind of funny sometimes the way the game sort of stops and it looks like it needs some time to calculate whose move it is next, like it's not sure. I mean, I kind of want to clear all of these Omegas out, but <laughs> obviously uh, there's like three of them in the middle. It's insane. I can't help but think I do need to go in here. But it's like I don't want to take on three of them. And they don't seem to come into the narrow corridors, which could help, I guess. But obviously I'd rather not deal with these little shits in between. I'm set up and like focused on Omega now, so these guys are just a nuisance. But I can't waste a slot. I can't waste a slot on read ahead at the moment. Um, I think it's one of these things where, honestly, Spellblade is going to work the best, so let's just go with that. Right, here we go. I should have used Haska. I keep... I'm too used to just using that from uh, random encounters. I also should have healed first. This was not a good idea. Oh, it's double mustard bombing. Wow. Yeah, so it absolutely wrecked me here. It got like six attacks in after my rapid fire was just showing off. That's what I mean about the whole RNG aspect of, of Omega. It's really brutal. So I guess the only way to bring back someone that's been in circle... We do have the mix ability, which I never end up making use of last time. But Honestly, I feel like I can brute force it at this stage if I just do the right thing. So I'm going to use time here to return this. I feel like it can't wipe me out too often in a way where I can't use return and just make it work. We just need to be lucky with the counters. I think that's like the main thing. So, Spellblade. Oh god, he's only got Thundara. Shit, I forgot about that. That's one weakness, I guess. Let's just rapid fire then. I swear he was doing more damage the first time. Like, notably more damage. Interesting. Maybe I'm not as well set up as I thought. And it's just using Encircle a lot for some reason this time. Pretty horrendous. Um... Let's try this again. Is this one I can escape from? Hmm. 
That's actually interesting. I might be able to escape it. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm trying to return. It, it's really showing off now. It's just not... It's not letting me do anything. So, yes. This is how, despite everything, it can pretty much just take you out anyway. And there's no item to cure Simon, so you do need this. Rip. I'm wondering if I need to up my Mystic... I was thinking, should I just use Spellblade off the bat? I might just do that with Faris, actually. Rapid Fire plus... Because that's going to do the damage. Um, okay. So again, I think I'm going to let Faris sort of be the death dealer here. Lena's not going to use her black magic much, so we'll have her using time magic if necessary. So yeah, I'll change up and go for something like this instead, I think. So I'll save over my most recent... And we'll see if this is enough to, to win the day here. I think I'll go to dual cast here. I still feel like that's probably the better call. Is there anything that gives me better than 64? The blood sword gives me 66 damage. Whoa, uh, magic. Whoa. That's impressive. I think I'll go with that. It's not like I'm going to attack with her anyway. Get that gold hairpin. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should just have one person attacking. Literally just have Faris be the only one that attacks. Because his Spellblade isn't powerful enough. So we can't have double Thundaga Spellbladers, unfortunately. I'd have to get some more ABP for that. We'll just keep it anyway in case I need to do some extra damage. I mean, he does do good damage. So I think we'll kind of leave it like this for now. And see how we do. So what I will do is, yes, I put a save state here. But I think once I defeat the first Omega and I have, like, you know... I feel like this is what's going to work. Then I'm not going to, like, quick save in between every single one. Because that's that'd be a bit lame. So I'll ride my luck for the rest for the rest of them. But I do need to kind of take one on and just defeat it and see what I can do, but... but... The way they kind of home in on you once they're there once... Ah, of course we've got our random encounters as well. <laughs> I'm so fixated on Omega right now, I forgot about those guys. Now that means we have to heal in between battles. Okay. Yeah, I think you can kind of dash your way around them to some degree as well. And that's also an important note. And that Dino Zombie is fast. It gets his first attack in pretty quick. But I mean, at this stage, I don't even know what the way out is, to be fair. So I've got to kind of watch out for that. Um... Oh yeah, she's got the Blood Sword now. Yeah, so these guys can't really do anything. With their weapons. Yeah, see, now because I'm more set up for Omega, I'm less effective against the random encounters. Hold on, man, hold on. I mean, there's no point launching into these battles against these Omegas if I don't even know where the exit is. Because there's so many of them to fight, 
And then it's too RNG reliant. If they just use Encircle and stuff a lot, then it's just going to be a pain. So I don't know where the way out is. That's the problem. So I will take this one on, I think. And then see what happens down the left. Okay. Let's just get to it and see what we do here. Obviously need a little bit of luck with these early turns. I won't attack with Bart's just yet. Okay. Um, start with that. And then... I think for now we'll just... Okay, start off very quickly with this stuff. It should have been Kuraga, but obviously I couldn't have guessed what move it was going to use. I'm going to wait here. Again, I'm going to try and be patient. Because the counter-attacks are going to hit me pretty hard once they start coming. But you see how many moves it's getting in. Like, before you get that Haysker in, you're screwed. And it's using Wave Cannon a lot. Wave Cannon is one of the most horrible moves of the entire game. But now that I've had more time to sort of see, it's really, really nasty. It seems to do just over half of your health. And then it gives you Sap as well. And it seems to like that I can't see a way to reduce the damage, which makes things way worse. So now I need a little more luck here. No, God, God, that's not very lucky, is it? There's still nothing you can do against Earthquake. Like, if you haven't got the Mighty Garden, there's nothing you can do about that. So, yeah. Omega is still horrible. Don't get me wrong. But it's just one of these things. It's too RNG-reliant. That's that's what I'm seeing here. That's why he's such an arsehole. So now I'm back here again. Um, okay. So I think what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to make Bart's a... Mystic Knight, so that he gets access to the higher level ones. Um, combine it with Rapid Fire still. Where was it? What the hell? I'm being blind again. Let's do this one by one. There it is. Um, chicken Knife still the best singular attack that I have. Fine. Aegis Shield might save my life. None of these give me more attack, but Royal Crown seems better. And then Flame Ring. So we'll have that. I think front row, back row doesn't matter all that much. And for these guys, I think I'll keep the rest like this. So if I have two rapid firing, um, well, quote unquote mystic spell bladers, let's call them, then I think we should be okay. But I feel like spell bla spell blade doesn't work when you have multiple blades, or it, or it only works on one of them. I'm I'm a bit unsure about that at the moment. Um, well, the apocalypse does even better now. So we'll do that. We'll just see how it works for now. So let me save over my most recent. I think this is my best sort of optimized thing. Obviously what I don't know at this stage is what the the route out of here is. So I want to defeat the one nearest to me so I know I've got like a sort of somewhat sound and reliable tactic. This is already a bad start now because uh, we're going to be missing a turn. So if Wave Cannon comes here, we're going to be in trouble already. I feel like Mighty Guard is all well and good, but Wave, wave Cannon is literally the only problem that we have at this stage. Because I don't feel like Mighty Guard stops the damage from Wave Cannon. That's literally the worst part about it. So, yeah. So, Lena's dead. Ooh survive that's lucky so I want to see the damage there you go okay now we're rolling does that really take out one move eight times seven yeah okay there you go 
So there's your little sort of cheap way to, <laughs> to defeat um, Omega. Again, if you're unlucky, you can still fail that, I'm sure, but that seems pretty good to me. Now, I came in from this side, right? No. This is... This is another floor? Decadence Park. Okay. This is another floor, but then there was a door on the other side, wasn't there? And there was a chest. There was a demon rod in the chest. Maybe I'm being a bit cocky here, but I should maybe try and get that chest and check the other side of the room too. I mean, we did kind of wreck this Omega very, very easily. And I have my save state. I'm not going to, like, save state in between each Omega battle. That's kind of lame. But I do kind of want to maybe defeat one or two more if I can. Depending on what my RNG is like. Ah, I was going to try and sort of spin round as well. This is that annoying situation where I want to flee these encounters, but because I don't have the right ability. If I try and do that, I'm going to get stuck on the front line and just take more damage. And I wonder if rapid fire sort of counteracts the chicken blades running, the chicken knives running thing. I don't know. So that's that. Uh... Okay, managed to escape there. And I want to check out the left side as well. That's, that's the other thing. If I can do that, then I should be good. But yeah, seeing Omega get re wrecked in one move is pretty funny. And I guess some extra spell blade uh, things can't hurt. Because he doesn't get Thundaga as standard. If I get the turn, I'm going to Mighty Guard anyway, so I get into the battle with Float. If you're... If you're unlucky, it can use Earthquake early, so I think it's worth it. Ah, oh, damn it. Great. Let's finish it anyway. Alright, I'm stuck in the middle of the room. I need to get out of there fast. So I can go around the left side here. It's been a while since we had someone actually using a job. At this stage, even if the chicken blades uh, running away thing comes into effect, it's not the end of the world. Only one person needs ABP. that done. Right. Yeah, so there's this left pathway out of here too. The sort of one-way stairs that we couldn't get up last time. Okay, this is a bad combo. We need rapid fire to work well. Okay, it did. We should be fine. And yeah, it seems like once you use Rapid Fire again, it's a really OP move. It's just... It's not breaking that either. So we've got this bit. Come on, man. <sighs> the encounter rate is just so high. That's a bad... Oh, okay. Let's see if we get lucky again. We did not. So Lena's going to get one confused turn, but she's got the Blood Sword, I think, still, so it's not a big deal. Um, nah, whatever, we'll just leave it to leave it to the others to sort out. 
well evaded. Wow. Okay. Ah. So this is this is a one-way door, I guess. And it is the other side that is the way through. Fine. Okay, that one worked for once. Yeah, Chicken Blade is like fixed damage, pretty much. It's always 2159. But this should finish things off. Nice. Okay. Honestly, we're not using high potions for much else at the moment. I mean, they're still kind of relevant. At 2,500, 300, 3,000, it's less so, but... Nah. Faris has been stopped. The evil Eye hit this time as well. Okay. Alright. It didn't get to cast Reflect this on itself this time, though. Or its ally, so hopefully. Yeah, too late, buddy. So I'm keeping myself set up for an Omega battle here, but I, I think we can get away with not fighting any more of them. Come on, man. Hit the other one. Yep. I think both of them are gone here. Nice. Yeah, so I can go up freely to this bit, and these guys can just roam around in the middle. I don't really care. I'm assuming this is surely the only room filled with Omega weapons, man. Come on. But I mean, that's how you know that you're in a legit post-game dungeon. Honestly, I can very easily now say that this is a, a better post-game dungeon than Five Fantasy Sixes. Easily. A room with Omega weapons? What are you talking about? That's insane. In like a really cool way, I think. Because I mean, the save is not too far away from here. Even if you're not save stating, the, the save is not a million miles away. So you'll be okay. Now... We're not going to encounter any movers, so Bart's is going to take... Actually, I should check his Spellblade to see if, with level 5, he still gets Thundaga access. Feels like that would be, like, the only... Ooh. Yeah, I kind of I kind of don't want to take that. I'll check the other options, and if I can't get through, then I'll maybe have a look at falling through there. Let me see. Okay, I do get it. That's perfect. Okay, so he doesn't need to be a Mystic Knight anymore. We can go back to the OP squad. I can't remember if there was a... Just in case there was a Reflect that I didn't spot, I'd rather just have my crew finish it off. Have the Heavy Hitters finish it off. Okay. Right, so not taking that. And we'll go back to Freelancer. I mean, this still seems to be like one of the best things as well. And we use her to attack even less. So let's just try it. White Robe is always a winner. And yeah, we'll just keep it like this. Okay. 
So the encounters will still be frequent, but at least I'll be better prepared now. Should be able to take this stuff out more quickly than ever. Yeah, so it's going to go back to business as usual, I think, with this stuff. We're back into exploration mode to see where this takes us. Okay. Um. Okay, we've got a button there and obviously an encounter within two seconds. But hey, it's all experience points. If, it, if the final bosses of the GBA version are indeed a big step up where you really do need like maybe level 70, 80, 90 to, to truly have a solid chance of beating them, then it's all going to help. But these guys obviously are shit experience for some reason. I don't know why they're even here to be honest. Oh. That's not good. Oh, it lands me here. Get out. Oof. That is cheeky, man. That is cheeky. Damn. Again, I'm, I'm kind of curious if I beat all of the Omegas there, is this always going to be like a clear area? But honestly, I've kind of set myself back up for random encounters now. I just can't bother to find out. I'm just going to get on with it. There's just so, there's so much menu work in this game. That's obviously one of the things that I'm not as big a fan of, but I just I don't see another way around it with a system like this. Final Fantasy XII for me was similar too, where like because when you do have a job system and you have like abilities like this, it feels like there's always sort of optimizations that you can make to to have things working better. And obviously when you do that and you have to change your equipment every single time. Because it's not as simple as just sort of the optimized ones don't always work the best. So that aspect is a bit of a pain. Sometimes it literally puts me off just changing stuff because I, I just can't be bothered to do all of this every time. But sometimes you just need it. Because I, I will need some osmosing soon. So for now, um, let's take the middle path now. This is like the Pyramid of, of more. Oh. So... That's that. Okay. Uh, I mean, is this the part where I fall down? Honestly, I feel like maybe I should put in a manual save here. I think this is a good time for it because I, I have this is the, the stage where if I didn't have um, save states I'd be worried that I was going to die at some point and lose this progress. I think I've unlocked some important things here. Okay. So yeah, I will get out of here. Obviously if the encounters let me. It literally survives an entire onslaught like this. That's, that's solid. Gotta respect that. Okay, so let's get that save in. Yeah, we we, we definitely were overdue a legit save. So that unlocks something, but I don't think I'm done with this bit yet. Um, did they all respawn? I don't think they did, which is obviously a good sign. I'm wondering if two normal attacks are enough. No, it's not. Yeah, so that was a bad decision. Even though the animation takes a long time, it's just it's better to be sure. Oh, 
Oh shit, that was wrong. This way. Yeah, so we need to figure out what the deal is with... We fell back into the room. Let's see what this is. What's this? River of Souls. It kicked me all the way back there? What? Yeah. So, luckily I saved, because I ain't, I'm sure as hell not going back there again. That's just long. I'm going to reset <laughs> and reload that save. 